boys, there's all kinds of fun stuff this week. This was exciting. There's been some restocks and some new stuff and a little bit of everything here, so I'm pretty tore. Roshi Sator, he's uh, experimenting on things that I don't even want to hear about experimenting on, so I don't know. I'm going to keep it interesting. Yeah, buddy. All right, we'll start off here. We got a whole bunch of new Game of Thrones stuff in uh, for the living card game. We got the Great Fleet and the uh, Captain's Command and the Reach of the Kraken, uh, Pirates of Liz, and the City of Secrets. Oh, I wasn't supposed to tell you about that. It's a secret. Uh, what else here? A ton of tide. And beyond the wool, the wolves of the north return of the others and their sword in the darkness. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's some of these have been out of print for a while, so uh, I know there's several of you that's uh, been really looking forward to these coming back in, so here they are. I'm going to grab them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> Too bad for the rest of you. All right, anyway. Uh, game Right has released a new game here, uh, Pure Mix. Uh, this one is a real fun looking. Now, Game Right, first off, if you don't know Game Right, they're the ones that made uh, uh, Forbidden Island and Forbidden Desert. And they're real fun, easy family style games uh, that you can play with a, a younger, uh, younger gamers. But at the same time, it's still just as fun for you to play if you're an older gamer. So. You know, old like you, Roshi. <laughs> oh, how dare you! Uh, but anyway, it's uh, it's real neat. It kind of reminds me. Uh, just, I mean, I've not got to play it just yet. But I tell you, from watching some of the videos on it, it looks kind of like uh, mahjong. Oh, uh, I remember good days of playing mahjong out on the fields. <laughs> yeah, you and your mom. Anyway, you and your mom. No, no thanks, Roshi. No thanks. <laughs> Now this is one that we have been, I've been waiting to get in for quite some time. Uh, no thanks. It's supposedly one of the best gateway uh, card games that you that, that's out there. Uh, kind of a, a when do you bid, when do you not kind of mechanism um, as you're taking cards, trying to collect. It's like set collection and bidding all at the same time. So a really neat game. Finally back in production after a long hiatus. So... We're glad to see no thanks finally in here. No thanks. Yeah, no thanks. That's just... <laughs> we're going to be joking about that for a long time from now to come, let me tell you. No thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. What else here? Uh, X-Wing has got uh, some restocks on some stuff here. We got the Headhunter. That says E-Wing. Yep. What well, X-Wing? Well, <laughs> boy, this is contradictory. Look, yeah, you're right, Roshi. We got X-Wing and E-Wing. Lord of mercy. How about chicken wing? All right. Uh, and a tie defender. So a few restocks on them. Uh, Blue Moon Legends is a fantasy flight game for two players uh, by uh, Rainier, you know, Kanumanudu there. Oh. One of your buddies, I bet, there, Roshi. Uh, but it's a two-player uh, card game uh, where you're trying to uh, win the favor of three dragons uh, through combat, uh, it it's supposed to be a like a twenty to forty minute card game uh, for just for two players. Now, Blue Moon Legends, uh, the game originally came out. It was just called Blue Moon, and it had all kinds of expansions and whatnot. And then Fantasy Flight put out Blue Moon Legends, and they put all of the expansions that they had ever released into this one box. So, lots and lots of bang for your buck in this one box here. So, Blue Moon Legends. Oh, what an honor! Yep. To be Honored by a dragon. Yep, it looks good, I tell you. Wait a minute, look at there. We got an Egyptian, like looks like a dude dug out of a uh, out of pyramid over here. <laughs> then we got a girl that looks like she's grown on a tree and like an alien. Oh, the middle one looks like your mama. I can do it too, you see. The middle I'm, one. I'm looking like your mama. I'm not even going to go there, Roshi. Lord have mercy. Uh, let's just keep going here. The builders of the earth. The builders do. Yep. Uh, now this one is part of the Cosmos two-player line. It gets another, kind of like Blue Moon Legends, we got this another two-player game. Uh, awesome. This is a, a take, a card game, uh, dual take on the fantastic game uh, Pillars of the Earth. It's a, a board game. It's one of 
one of the most highly rated board games that's uh, that's in existence right now. So, oh, this one's something you're used to, Bible. <laughs> You piece of crap. <laughs> I swear. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm going to have to skin you alive there, Roshi. Um, another two-player game uh, out of the early Cosmos, or uh, that's associated with the Cosmos line uh, of games. Oh, this note is this still actually tagged. Uh, Z-Man's still tagging that there. Look at that. So, uh, <clears throat> about pyramid building and, and whatnot. Well, I guess not really pyramids, but, you know, like temples and ziggurats and all yeah, that you're mess. You're talking about the wrong game. Yeah. A Sunday. Yep, by Rudiger Dorn. Uh, yet another two-player game. I see a theme here. I didn't kind of unintentionally, but... Uh, multiplayer week. Yep. <laughs> multiplayer week, yep. Two players is multiplayer. That's something I've always thought about, you know. Why do you call it multiplayer if you mean it's... If people don't call them, they say it's not multiplayer if it don't play more than two. Two is multi. Absolutely. Yeah, there you see. Is the one is a two. Well, we, we, at least we agree on something once in a while. All right, Munchkin Board of Health. Uh, this is uh, a board. It's a two-sided board that you can use in Munchkin Cthulhu and Munchkin Zombies. So, that's Cthulhu and the Zombies. That's what I said. Uh, we got some new play mats in uh, for Pukey Mans. Uh, it's got the uh, real colorful X and Y characters on there. What uh, What did you say they was earlier? I, I believe it's a uh, Horny and Hansy. Yep, we're gonna go with Horny and Hansy. Sure we are. Okay. Uh, got uh, the Walking Dead Don't Look Back dice game from uh, <coughs> Cryptozoic. Uh, so, actually haven't read too much about that just yet, but for those of you that are Walking Dead fans, I'm sure you're going to like that there. Look pretty awesome. Uh, see, in fine print, you can't see it there. It says, Carl, get back in the house. Uh, some new Pathfinder Adventure Path stuff. We got the Pyramid of the Sky Pharaoh. Uh, the slave trenches of uh, something other, and uh, a poster map. map. Yep. So <clears throat> I've seen a uh, pyramid thing. Yeah, what in the world? <laughs> this is the this is the Egyptian week here. I tell you. Now this I peed just a little bit when I saw this and in there. Uh, finally got some Avengers vs. X-Men Dice Masters in uh, again here. This is the starter set. Uh, it comes with an exclusive storm card uh, in it. And it comes with a felt dice bag, not no, not those stupid paper ones that was like him and them other ones, mm. and a couple of packs. And then it's actually this box is a great storage uh, unit for your uh, for your dice. So oh, so nice. Thanks to Wiz Kids for that. Now I'm gonna skip over this in a minute. That's gonna be the star of the show here. Uh, next thing we got some uh, Pukey Man uh, Mega Charizard X and the Y. Yeah. They, this is actually pretty neat. They come with uh, little Charizard figures there. Oh, right lovely there. for the kids. Yep. And you. <laughs> All right. And the last thing we got in here this week is the first <coughs> expansion pack. Not the first expansion, but the first expansion pack for the DC deck building game. Crisis. Oh, so nice. Yep. Now this actually has got, is adding playable characters... Constantine, Zatanna, Swamp Thing, Animal Man, Robin, and Green Air. Uh, it looks like they got maybe even some new versions of some of the other fellers there, like Sea Martian, Manhunting, and uh, Superman's. Uh, is got some new stuff. So this looks pretty awesome. Uh, Cryptus Oak, for once, didn't make us wait three or four years uh, before they put something out. It's actually. I won't say it's on time because, you know, they was a little bit, they didn't really say when it's supposed to come out, but at least this time, this is out in 2014 for the love of God. I thought for sure we'd be, I, I mean, I was actually told people it'd probably be Valentine's Day of 2015 before this thing came out. So I tip my hat just a little bit, you know, kind of sarcastic and thankful way at the same time to Cryptozoic for actually putting something out in some semblance of the same decade that they tell us it's going to come out. You're so old, must have seen that long anyways. That's why I'm going to cut your head off. <clears throat> you know, I tell you, I watched a video about one of them dummies there that got thrown into a bunch of boxes yesterday by the rabid rat. That's my favorite wrestler. Uh, he, uh, I wished he'd have, I wished I could do that to you. Oh, oh. you could not take this on. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, well, anyways... That's everything. Now, this is a bit of a long one, but man, we got all kinds of good, awesome new stuff in 
uh, down here today. A few restocks, but a lot, a lot of new stuff, new releases, and new to us. So uh, come down here and check it out. Arigato,